everybody. Congratulations to the graduates. Um, it's, it's an honor to be uh, invited to, to speak here today, and uh, I'm a little nervous to speak in front of anyone in the robe still to this day. <laughs> I never had my back turned to him. <laughs> um, no, I, I uh, you know, I'm someone um, who is in long-term recovery myself since March 31st, 1991. Um, I'm not often in public forums or really, like this talking about it, but um, I'm happy to anytime it you know can be of service and, and help. Um, uh, the nature of the, the you know my my I, my juvenile courts. I spent many many time in um, my I drank and did drugs for ten years. Robbed me of my childhood, my adolescence, my choices in life. You know, do what, whether to go to college or do what normal kids do. No, I was. You know, in places like this, and um, and I got to say that great people in my life, much like many of the people in here, who reached out to me and pulled me up and showed me the way out of what I thought was no way out at the time. Um, and I'll give you a little backstory and the connection to the band name. Because a lot of people, unless you're a, a, of an older generation, might not know this, but you know, Dropkick Murphys was. Um, a guy by the name of John Dropkick Murphy uh, had, a, had a camp. It was like a wrestling boxing camp back when I guess wrestling was more real. Uh, if it ever was real in the 50s and, you know, trained, trained fighters and stuff. And um, he used to experiment. Uh, a lot of people that were training there would end up, you know, uh, getting drunk. And he, he started to uh, do primitive experimentations of, uh, he was also a doctor, and he would do primitive experimentations of, Helping people taper, taper down and you know uh, horse tranquilizers, formaldehyde, and I would hear all these stories about the place, and that's uh, of the four original members of the band. Three of us were in recovery, and we were always like, "Oh, that's a cool name. That's gonna that's gonna be our name if we ever start a band." And we started uh, at that little. It used to be a barber shop, and then it was like a beeper store. That little freestanding building at uh, Hancock and Beale, right across from Papa Gino's. At the time, it was a barber shop. And the girl who owned it would let us, the deal was, our rent was we had to come in and sweep up the hair every night, then we could lift the hatch and go down in the basement and, uh, and rehearse. And we had very low expectations as a band, you know, we were just doing it for a laugh. And, um, but be careful what you ask for. And that's what I found out around here, is if I, uh, if I, if I keep this one problem I have, number one in my life, then I can have everything. If I let that lose the number one priority in my life, I'll lose everything, and I can have nothing. And um, I, I think the like good people that I was so fortunate enough to have in my life that showed me the way, always just pounded into my head that I can never, ever, ever lose sight of this illness, and it's that it's number one. And if I keep it number one in my life, everything just seems to fall in my, into place. You know, I've had struggles like everyone else does, but like. The next right door always seems to open, you know, and, and probably more so than what I've learned myself in 26 years of being sober is watching other people who unfortunately haven't taken the same advice, you know, whether it's chasing the doll or I got to work or other things take priority and, and, and the same destructive repetitive cycle happens over and over again. And now, you know, the people that I see go back out the door they don't come back, you know, and uh, I've probably been to 30 or 40 wakes in the last year or two. It's insane. Some really good friends, some people that, you know, I've tried to help, some people that, you know, were sons of, and daughters of people that I, that I grew up with, and um, it's really scary. It's really scary, you know, and um, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to no longer have to live like that, you know, and, and my, what I was taught is my hand always has to be out help someone else if I want to keep what I have and I, I need to stay on the front lines you know and, and to anybody who suffers from this illness man stay on the front lines you know because it's so easy to forget I'm so grateful I've never forgot I don't know how that's happened I think I've just dove straight into recovery stayed in the recovery community stayed around people who fight this same thing and and honestly I, you know, when I do that I don't even have to think about the fact I, I, I'm normal as a matter of fact 
Uh, oh, I, I, let me say that one. Go ahead. No. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? I don't feel like it's something that I have to battle every day anymore. It's so nice to be free of that, you know? And it's so nice to hear, see people who, who, are, who are fighting this battle on our behalf that aren't even afflicted with this illness. For me, it's life or death that I have to give back. But to see the, the lengths that people who, you know, uh, don't have, don't ha aren't faced with that choice. Still do for people. I, I, I'm, uh, I'm so grateful to just be in the midst of it. You know what I mean? Um, I've been, to, I've been all over the world. I never left, one, literally never left the 128 area. A couple of trips to the Cape. You know, before, before I got sober and and I started the band. And I've been to every, I've been all over the world. You know, and um. And I have people that I'm friends with in recovery all over the world. It's amazing, you know. Like, I could tell stories for hours about the things that have happened to me in my life that were coincidences. I don't know. I don't think so, you know. But I, but I just happened to be in the right place with the right people in my life. And just doors kept open, you know. And, um, and always, keep, always keep that faith in your heart that, that life, as long as we treat this one thing, that life's always, another door is always going to open up. So wanted to be in your presence, and I thank you all for having me here today.